We begin with the terrifying moments inside a high school in Kentucky, a student opening fire on classmates just as they were arriving for class. Students running in panic, looking to hide, some out on the street. First responders rushing to the scene just minutes later. At least two dead, multiple students shot. A chilling line of buses waiting to take students to another school where their frightened parents were waiting for them. The county attorney arriving after the shooting describing the backpacks everywhere, cell phones laying on the ground, going off. ABC's Steve Osinsami from the scene tonight. It was a room full of teenagers, then suddenly full of gunfire. You know, I saw there was a lot of blood everywhere, and then people were getting shoved down. And so I just, you know, I took off. I started running. You know, I was scared for my life. Just before 8 a.m. classes at this high school south of Paducah, Kentucky, a student with a handgun started shooting at other kids in a common area outside a library. Marshall County High School active shooter. Four people down, one unresponsive. The shooter still on site. It sounded like there was a fight. Someone was hitting on the window. I took out my headphones and turned around, and everyone was just broken up. They were running. I saw the flashes from the gunshots, and by that time, I was just, I was just running. By 7:59, police say they were already on their cell phones, calling for help. I was close enough to get. I got blood like all along my pants. It, it happened like right next to me. I just knew to start running because the shots were just so loud. More than 100 students were running for their lives into shops and offices next to the school, crying and screaming. A photographer from local station WPSD had just dropped off his daughter and shared live video of students escaping the scene. I just heard multiple gunshots come up and my first instinct was just hit the ground and hit the ground. I was talking to one of my buddies in the commons and he got shot in his chest. We ran out together, but I lost and I don't know where he went. What's the most difficult part right now? Not knowing what's happening. You knowing if he's all right. The cavalry came quick, six past eight. The most seriously hurt had to be airlifted to hospitals in Nashville. Police tonight tell us they've arrested a 15 year old at the scene. That student will be charged with both murder and attempted murder. Parents who raced to a middle school hoping to find their children were in a panic. Because you don't know. You know, you have no idea, and that's the worst. You know, not knowing, is my child okay? And it's bad. This will be a difficult night for two families here who will need to bury their teenagers, and for more than a dozen others whose children were wounded in the gunfire, some shot in the face, and at least one who may have to lose an arm tonight in surgery. Just terrific to hear Steve Osinsami with us live tonight outside the high school in Benton, Kentucky. And authorities, Steve, are trying to figure out a motive tonight. Absolutely, David. You see first responders still here behind me. And they've also been to the shooter's, alleged shooter's home, talked to his parents. They tell us that he's a juvenile, so there's not much they can say about him at this point. There were many, many witnesses here at the high school who saw him. They all know who he is and tell us they're not sure what led to this. David? Steve Osinsami leading us off from Kentucky.